Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are wrapping up the month of June in my reading journal. I cannot believe that six months of using this journal has come and passed already and that yeah, I see that in my half year um, flip through, but yeah, I just can't believe that we're already at this point and I will have to do a video for you all of what my stats are for the half year, but for now, let's just get into how June went for me. So as you can see, I'm starting with my favorite read of the month and that was Howl's Moving Castle. Now this wasn't my first time reading this book, I've read it probably up to about eight times now and every time it just feels like it's brand new to me and such a warm home that just greets you with just it's just wonderful and whimsical and everything and I did a buddy read for this I actually hosted my first buddy read and it was just wonderful to share this world with all those lovely people that joined in and getting to see that they love this as much as I do uh, it's definitely a book that has shaped my writing and and I hope that one day I can have some sort of skill that matches what happens in this book because it's just it's just great and I'm sure that a lot of people have already watched the movie the uh, Studio Ghibli movie that is related to this book but the book is so much different from the movie and encapsulate, encapsulates um, so much of that world but in a different way as well so if you haven't read this book I highly recommend it I'm so glad that I chose to reread it this year and share the love that I have for it with other people so apart from reading this book and enjoying it this month has been really odd I chose to mood read rather than have a set TBR I also had a lot of library books that I started renting out so um, I was trying to get through those I didn't actually have any other five star reads apart from Howl's Moving Castle and most of my reads this month were four stars which was pretty good but there were a few letdowns along the way I must admit but um, my favorite part about this month has just been having a break from the TBR jar and just feeling a little bit less pressured by my own standards to read I had a lot going on it was my birthday month and it was my mum's birthday month as well we're a week apart and we had lots of appointments and stuff to deal with so I didn't get to read as much as I hope to I read only 15 books and two of those were novellas and I yeah I, it was a mixed bag I wouldn't say it was the worst month that I've had but I don't feel as though I've come away from it feeling like it was a really great month either there are some um, books that I really didn't like like I said and one of them was My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey it was another buddy read that I was involved in and it also had really mixed results some of us really liked it some of us like me hated it and it was a two-star read for me so and um, yeah wasn't a great time but the group chat was amazing and that's what I take away from buddy reads a lot I also tried out some historical romances this month which was amazing um, I found it really difficult to find ones that um, I engage with and I picked up the um, series by Evie Dunmore the um, League of Extraordinary Women and I've read book one and two in the series I gave both four stars and I really enjoyed it a great deal so I actually have already gone off and picked up book three from the library uh, I really really like this world so I'm hoping that I can continue on with reading um, different types of romances not just the contemporary ones that I seem to gravitate towards as you can see I am now on my stats page and already halfway filled in so let's start talking about those stats I read 15 books over June and two of them were novellas like I said and 13 were novel length I gave out one five star read I had seven four star reads four 3.5 star reads two three star reads one two star read and I DNF'd one book I read a total of 5146 pages I um, that's a little bit lower than usual but I think it was pretty on par with last month's reading I think there was only like a hundred pages between them 
Um, average rating was 3.66. I read seven romances, two of those being historical, eight fantasy novels, um, six were adult books, three were new adult, five were YA, and How's Moving Castle is recommended as a middle grade book, so one middle grade. Um, six of the books were physical and nine were ebooks. So as you can see we're now moving on. I've already chosen my colour for July. It's brown and I'm now putting in that book that you saw in the beginning me flipping into my July pages and marking off that I read. This is the first read of July. I will go through and put a little white J, J at the top there to signify that we're moving on to a new month. And now we are looking at the pixel of the year and I actually did a lot of one books a day this month. Normally I read about two books a day um, but it seems to be that this month I really was consistent with just reading one book which was still really good and I'm happy to see that I only had two days where I didn't read at all this month considering considering that last month I only read um, a certain amount of days and I think I had like five days I think that's how many is on that calendar one two three yeah five days where I didn't read so having only two this month was really good uh, even if I didn't get a whole lot of reading done I still enjoyed myself and was very productive and consistent with my reading I can't say the same about social media but that is not what this video is about um, I really enjoyed that I had a lot of time reading though when I could and filling in this pixel always makes me so happy. I only started three new series I think this month or four but um, I'd already filled them in before filming this. Again we're just flipping through and finding things that I haven't filled in. Now this is the page that I hate the most, not this one, but my own TBR and I'm really um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it into my 2023 setup. It's just not working. Um, I keep getting books that I have copies already of and then I write them down without thinking about it. You've said in a moment where I went to write down Howl's Moving Castle and uh, yeah, it wasn't, I didn't need to write it down. I already had it down. So um, I think I will definitely do this maybe digitally next year. Definitely don't think it's working in my bullet journal as is. Who knows, maybe I'll still do it, but figure out a different way of doing it. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. Um, maybe I could have it so some books could have space to have it, like little check marks for different um, versions. I only ever read the same book once. I'm not going to pick up my copy of these Hollow Vows, for example, from the hardcover and read it from there. I'm going to read it from the paperback that I've already read it from. But I wanted to have the hardcover version. So it's just little things like that. I don't know whether or not I should be marking down that I have a copy of, considering that this whole page is to mark off what I've read. And I'm having to double mark off. But that is the rest of this video done. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoy these monthly wrap-ups and me rambling on a little bit about books that I've read. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and that you're excited to read over July because I definitely am. Like you saw, I've already finished one book and I hope I can be much more productive this month. Bye everyone.